When creating and editing items, Draftit has a variety of ways to select screen positions and points, or to input and select coordinates. The appearance of the buttons and input boxes that control this are displayed here. In general drawing and editing, there are usually three modes, but these buttons are only displayed when appropriate. The three modes are Snap, XY Input and Polar Input. Let's briefly explain these modes before we demonstrate them. Firstly, Snap. When this button is selected, positions on the drawing will be found by snapping on end points, midpoints, center points, grid points, intersections and others. Secondly, XY. When this button is selected, positions on the drawing will be identified by X and Y coordinates. This allows X and Y coordinates to be specified relative to the current position. Third, Polar. When this button is selected, positions on the drawing will be identified by polar coordinates, or angle and distance. This allows a polar point to be specified relative to the current position. OK, to explain this in more detail, we'll use the line command. So the line function wants us to indicate the first point of the line. There is no current position, so no input options are displayed, as the system assumes we must be attaching the end of the line to an existing point, or to a free position. So we will click the first line point at the current cursor position. When we do this, the input options will be displayed here. The previous input mode is retained. In our example here, the snap option is selected. Let's draw a few lines to work with. We restarted the line command so you will notice that the input options have gone. Remember the snap mode is automatically set for the first point of any drawing command. Now you will see that DraftIt will automatically find certain points as the cursor is moved over the entities. You will see that a specific symbol and description is shown for each point type. For example, a square symbol for end points. Simply left click to grab the point. So you can see how easy it is to browse over the points available and snap to the required point. Let's change to XY input. To do this we click on the button highlighted or press the F8 key. You now see two input boxes to the left of the buttons and dynamic dimensions following the cursor. The dimensions values displayed in the current units, represent the x and y distances from the previous point to the cursor position. Simply click to accept the current values. Alternatively, you can type in and lock the values for either or both x and y using the input boxes. You can change the value of the dimension or cursor step to suit your drawing application. The value is stored in the unit settings. Now you can see the cursor jumps in 10mm steps in both axes. Let's now change to polar input. To do this we click on the button highlighted or press the F9 key. Now we can see polar input boxes and dynamic dimensions.